Mia, this is your boy, Cristiano Ronaldo. He is in tears because his home squad of Portugal lost to Morocco in the quarterfinals, won nothing of the World Cup, and he gone. Why is this so significant? He's 37 years old. He was benched in this World Cup. Yeah, that's you, so you took the my, my punchline, but yes, continue. Chances are he's probably never going to play on the national team at that level ever again. And he's lost out. Uh, this is one of the most accomplished players in the history of the sport, but he's going to retire ultimately without a World Cup win in his pocket, unless he becomes a manager one day and maybe he leads Team Portugal to a World Cup win. Who's to say? But are we going to clown Ronaldo's legacy for not winning a World Cup? Not his legacy. As a World Cup is really hard to win. Um, yeah. I mean, no team has gone back to back. Now that I know of, can you name a team that's gone back to back in recent history? Yeah. So it's really hard. Um, especially with a four year cycle, because you don't know a who's going to age quicker because of significant injuries, B what young guns are coming up and how they mesh and gel together. I would clown Ronaldo more so that he got benched in the round, in the round of 16. And the guy that he got benched for scored a hat trick. That is what I find funny. in all this is now he's crying even after sitting on the bench with a sour puss on his face while his, a uh, younger replacement was scoring and everyone else is cheering and he's just sitting there like this. But now he cares because now he's on the field. It goes back to what we were saying with Army Navy. Name on the front of the chest, not the back of the chest. Or the back, the front of the back. I, I do feel bad for prolific players that never win the big one. And I, keep in mind, there's a guy that's won a ton throughout his career. He just... Well, also he's going through everything with Man U and Man, well, like everything, all that's going on too. I understand the emotions, especially when I feel like most soccer players glorify the opportunity to play in a World Cup, let alone win a World Cup. When think think about how many soccer players watching the World Cup right now, future soccer players are going to be influenced just by watching it. There's a good chance that Cristiano Ronaldo was five years old and saw the World Cup for the first time and was like, oh, my God, that's what I want to do with my life. So I understand the emotions that come with that. I think a lot of people are probably clowning it a little bit because it also happened in the quarterfinals against a team they probably shouldn't have lost to. And that's where those emotions pour out from. But I'm, I'm never going to be upset or clown someone for having passion for something they love and care about so much. I don't think that's the right way to go about business. Yeah, no, I just think it's, it's more so that he's this pretty boy and there's all this off the field drama going on. And now he cares. Now he cares. But I will tell you this, John, um, there is crying in baseball um, and also there is crying in football um, because one of the linebackers for the Titans yesterday um, started uh, Cole something or other. He's like a backup, but because like half their team is injured, he played yesterday. He's the one who um, got stiff armed into oblivion by Trevor Lawrence. And when he was interviewed by the Tennessee Titans dot com reporter, he started crying as he talked about how upset he was with himself. Would you would you would you laugh at that? If they're upset with themselves and they're not whining about other factors, if they're upset with themselves, then I'm, I'm not going to clown that either. If, if he was complaining about not getting a call and he started crying or something like that, then I'm probably going to clown something like that. No, this was just he was like, you guys don't understand how hard I work. I never have sucked at football in my life. Can I read the tweet for you? It's actually amazing. Go for it, sure. Okay, here's the tweet. Um, Pull it up. Dylan Cole. I thought his name was Cole something. Dylan Cole is the kid's name. He tweets, mind you, 448, so he's still in the locker room. Never in my life did I think I would suck at football. I've been humbly proven wrong a few times this year. I deserve all the criticism for what I put on the field. No one is more mad at me than me. Nothing I can do now but learn and improve. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to laugh at that. Why That's are you cool. tweeting through it? Did you not see what Lamar, I mean, granted, Lamar Jackson used uh, some questionable That's language. A player taking accountability for their poor play. Yeah, it's still funny. I, I don't know. I'm not, I don't see the humor in that. I think that's, that's a player who's taking accountability for their poor play. And before and, Twitter existed, what would he have done? Maybe said it in an interview. What's wrong with, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't see it. Yeah. I mean, I'm okay with it at the point. Like I'm okay with like speaking. I mean, but to then go to the lengths of tweeting it, 
I mean, I guess you want to have transparency well, with the fans, how many but he's probably getting from people that are like, you suck. No, he got a couple that said, you are a player in the NFL. You don't suck at football. No, but I'm saying when he makes that play or doesn't, oh, make yeah. play, he's getting a ton. So for him to go out there and say, guys, I own that. That's on me. I, I got, I have no issues with that. I have none. Just saying. Let's go to Nola and let's go to Zion. This is picture perfect right here, isn't this? This is, I this Zion. is, I evil. Love so, so much. I hate this story so much. Zion Williamson apologized for throwing down a 360 degree one handed slam a against the Phoenix Suns in a 128 117 win on Friday night. Suns fans around the world were angered by this. And he apologized. He said, I was in that locker room when my brothers were down because the sun sent us home from the playoffs last year. Keep in mind, Zion was hurt. So that's a tough moment to be a part of. So in that moment where he laid down the dunk, he got carried away. I admit that. I hate this so much, Mia, because, man, Zion Williamson made a name for himself in college for being able to do stuff like this. Slam dunk contest caliber dunks in game. And so what if his team was up? You beat a damn good team in the Phoenix Suns. And the Pelicans right now are really good themselves. Mm -hmm. So I have no issues at all with a little showboating. Make things fun. Was Michael Jordan standing down from being a little flashy back in his, his heyday? No way. I am all about this. I think Zion should, under no circumstances, have apologized for this. The irony of this is that I was watching the Cowboys game yesterday uh, in which they had to come back for a 98-yard drive with three minutes to go against the one-win Texans. When Ezekiel Elliott scored the go-ahead touchdown, I actually was so curious what his celebration would be because, of course, when he jumped into the Salvation Army kettle a few years ago, he got fined and he got reprimanded that that was too exuberant, too excessive. Uh, so, yeah, all he did yesterday was he literally like did like a little skip. Like he literally just skipped through the line of photographers and waved to the crowd. And that was that. And I was very sad because I do love celebrations. You should be allowed to celebrate. You should be allowed to dunk because it's an extension of that uh, nine times out of 10. Because if you are dunking, that means that you could have done something else, but you chose to dunk. Like I'm you could have just laid it up. You could have just had a put back. Drafted. This is why he was picked number one overall. This is why they wanted him to be the face of the NBA. Right. So I don't understand the hesitance and why there's a fuss about this. Guess what? You don't want your team being dunked on like that. Don't lose. Don't fall behind. Have you seen the NBA finals two years ago? That's kind of hard for the Suns to do. Listen, the Suns are a great team. They really are. Pelicans, this is what the whole tank was about. You tanked. So you could have moments like this. Yeah, I mean, and for a while, I mean, as recently as six, seven months ago, we didn't think we'd ever see it again because we thought he got fat and that he was going to break the floor. And he's not. He looks fit again. And he's doing acrobatic things like this again. Appreciate it. Embrace it. They've got C.J. McCollum. They are a good team down there in New Orleans. And I'm all about emphasizing stuff like this. This is the Sports Center highlight reel moment that, invigorates a generation of fans to want to invest when i grew up getting a chance to watch obviously michael jordan but knowing that i could watch jason richardson and vince carter and these prolific dump dunkers do larger than life things that's what made me fall in love with that era of the nba so if we're going to discourage this kind of stuff from happening you're doing a disservice to yourself as a league which is funny because now the league is more social media driven than ever before right. from when we were kids isn't this what the videos you want? Meanwhile, in Jacksonville, Trevor's waving goodbye to fans in Nashville and literally pointing at the scoreboard. And the NFL is like, more, more, insert Star Wars gif of, uh, of Kylo Ren. They want more of that. They need that. It just makes no sense to me at all that you would poo-poo this notion that someone is a superstar and they are doing superstar things and they should have to apologize for that. If you want to see all our videos about real news stories that are funny, stupid, or weird, click the subscribe button below. Otherwise, we'll start posting spoilers about your favorite new movies.